Hi, this is Real Bargains. I'm Dr. Lori. Are you ready for this? Everybody's given me permission to retell their real bargain stories. These are the bargains that people are finding all over. They're finding them at thrift stores, at yard sales, at flea markets, all over the place. And you're going to be shocked by the kinds of real bargains that we found. Some jewelry, some glassware, some artwork, all different stuff. Here we go. This first real bargain comes from a video call from the hospice thrift store. The thrift stores that, of course, support important charities just like this one. This particular piece was a beautiful example and one that really I kind of had to stop in my tracks when I saw it. 12 inches long, Lalique, you got it, Lalique, gorgeous glass, opalescent glass. It's called the Poisson Bowl. This particular piece is a beautiful bowl and it's known for, again, the French designer René Lalique. Lalique designed it prior to his 1945 death. He designed it in 1931. It's a gorgeous example and it's marked. Now the mark was not easy to find. My video caller said she had to use my trick of closing your eyes and touching the piece to try to find the mark, but she was able to find the mark, the Lalique mark, in the middle of the piece of 12 inches in diameter. You'll notice that it has little poisson or fish, little sardines, all the way around the, de the design. The design actually shows them sort of moving in that manner, in that circular manner, around the middle of the very shallow bowl. It's a gorgeous piece. It's very characteristic of René Lalique, the great French glass designer. And you can see that this piece is in beautiful shape. She said, there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. She was very excited to get it. I said, it's really beautiful. She said, I wasn't really looking for anything that day. I was just kind of shopping around. I was there just making the time go by, but I saw it and I had to have it. I was really happy to see it too on the video call. I said, so tell me about the pricing. She said they were asking $7, but it was discount day. So I got it. In fact, I got it for $6. I said, you got it for six dollars and I can tell you a couple of things about this opalescent glass. It's a beautiful example. It has a nice blue and silver kind of sheen overall um, and it's large. That 12 inches in diameter is large and this particular piece of course has that characteristic repeated pattern of the sardine fish. I told you it's called Le Poisson and this particular bowl is worth two thousand five hundred dollars. Collectors have paid that regularly for this example of rare Lalique. It's a gorgeous design and a beautiful piece. For six bucks, she got a piece worth $2,500. This next real bargain is for those of you who are chefs or who cook or who try to cook or who are not like me because I burn things. <laughs> so, you know, this is not really my best gift. If you're looking for a gift for me, it's not this. But if you're looking for something that you want to find that's a real bargain, look at this. This is volume two of Julia Child and, Simon, and Simone Beck's very, very famous Mastering the Art of French Cooking. This is, of course, the, the part of the two-volume set of, of course, the book that changed the face of not only PBS cooking shows, but also, of course, of cooking in general in the United States to try to teach people how to cook like the French. Uh, Julia Child's groundbreaking book was found here by a Priority Ask Dr. Lori member. So someone who, of course, had the Priority Ask Dr. Lori service and submitted this to me through a photo and said, I found this in the thrift store bins. I found it in the bins, in, and the bins, of course, work this way, where you will be able to pay for what you get out of the bins by the pound. So it's just based on weight. No matter what the pieces are, it's based on their weight. So, of course, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, one of two volumes, it's a pretty thick book, so it's going to be a little bit heavy. But at 20 cents per pound, that's right, 20 cents per pound, you're going to get a deal no matter if you have a big tome of a cookbook or if you have, of course, a skinny little children's book. It doesn't matter. And in the bins, you're going to make some money. So, my Priority Ask Dr. Lori member, who's a reseller said, I had to ask you about this because I only have volume two. I don't have volume one. I only have volume two, not volume one. I said, that doesn't really matter. Sure, it'd be better if you had volume one, but volume two has its value too. 
What do you look for, especially with cookbooks? Cookbooks usually uh, have a little bit more trouble. You know, they usually have more, a little more condition issues than other books. Right now, again, mine usually, my cookbooks usually have had a little bit of smoke or fire. You know, I burn stuff. Um, but this particular cookbook did have the typical dog-eared edges of the dust jacket. There are a couple of odors with it. But this particular book really was in very good shape overall. Um, volume two of Mastering the Art of French Cooking by Julia Child and Simone Beck. What's it worth? Well, she paid, as I said, about 20 cents per pound for this and other books. This particular piece is worth $750. That's right, $750 for one of the two volumes of this groundbreaking cookbook. This next real bargain, it comes from a video caller. That's right. The video caller got this piece from a Goodwill Blue Box. And the Goodwill Blue Boxes are a lot of fun. A lot of people do very well when they buy them. They buy a Goodwill Blue Box online. And um, this one costs $44.99 for the whole Goodwill Blue Box. And in that Goodwill Blue Box was this flower pin. Now, you might recognize this flower pin. Some of you might just toss it aside, but some of you who are really looking and educating their eyeballs with me and following my videos, what do you have to do? Watch my videos. I show you which pieces are more valuable. I evaluate them for you with appraisal, and you know what to look for when you're at the thrift store, the yard sale, the estate sale. It's easy. So if you're looking and if you're learning, right, you probably recognize this characteristic flower form called the camellia form. The camellia form is a form that was made famous by Coco Chanel. That's right. Gabrielle Chanel, known as Coco, Coco Chanel made this, one of her favorite flowers, an iconic form for her accessories. And this particular pin was found in a Goodwill blue box, cast aside. Why? Because a couple of the crystals are missing. Yeah, there's a little bit of condition issues with this, but it's very minor. This piece on the back is marked with the double C's of Chanel, which are, of course, their logo. The logo is integrated into the front of the design and, of course, marked. This piece is a beautiful pin, pretty sizable, pretty significant in terms of its size. And it, of course, does have a couple of losses of crystals. Easy to fix, not difficult to fix. You can have those replaced with good quality crystals, you know, and then you'll have a pin that's just as good as new. This one has, of course, um, the Chanel double C's. It also has that nice design that's characteristic of the camellia. And you've probably seen it with Chanel. She not only does this with designs in her clothing, but on the handbags. She'll have accessories that relate to this, and some of her fashion jewelry relate to this particular um, flower form. Very, very typical and interesting for the middle part of the 20th century. Now, this piece is later than that. This piece is a late 1900s piece that people could find, and it's part of the fashion jewelry design. So it's not fine jewelry, it's not 14 or 18 karat gold, but it's gold plated, and it's really in beautiful condition. So for the $44.99 investment for the Goodwill Blue Box, because at the time the Goodwill Blue Boxes were going for $44.99, and then they, go, they had been lower, they go up a little bit. This particular piece, what's it worth? I got to tell the video caller some very good news that it's worth $400. That's right. The brand name pieces, the designer pieces sell very well. And that's a real bargain too. I don't want you to forget about my newsletter. The newsletter, of course, is free. All you have to do is go to drlaurieV.com and sign up. Give us your email address. That's all you have to do. You don't have to pay for it. It's free at the time of this taping. This next real bargain comes from a video call. These are great. I love lamps. I think lamps are terrific, a lot of fun. They sort of give a, a different vibe to a room. They can really, they can casually make a room that's really very fussy and become a little bit more informal and casual. They can dress up a room that's not um, formal enough. Uh, these are stiffled. Make sure that you get lamps that are of high quality and look for the base, all the values in the base when it comes to this. This particular example, these are stiffle lamps. And the stiffle lamps were purchased at a thrift store. They're um, a pair of stiffle lamps and they're a match set. I always say at the thrift store, walk around and see if you can find the set. 
Because those thrift store people, they are tired people. They put something here, they put something there. Sometimes, you know, they get their carriage full and they go out to put stuff onto the floor and then they leave one of the pieces because it just doesn't fit. So that goes with the next employee to, to of course, stock the shelves. So, you know, sometimes the stuff ends up at different places. Many of you who are familiar with thrift store shopping, yard sale or estate sale shopping, find that, that stuff is not always put together. Estate sales are a little better. They know enough to group things when they can. But the thrift stores, it's a free-for-all depending on where you are. So this particular group, of these, this pair actually was together on the shelves, which is not typical. So, she, so my video caller said, you know, I saw them. They are 24 inches tall, but they had no shades. So I thought a minute, gee, do I want to invest in getting the shades? If she was going to keep them for herself, she said, I'd invest in getting shades. But if I'm going to sell them, maybe it's better to sell them without shades. Well, you know, there are two schools of thought on this. Some people say it's easier to ship them if you're going to resell them without the shades. Um, some people say you might pick shades that fit the lamps, but they're not the style of the, that the buyer likes. So you might be making a mistake, so there's that. Some people say, no, don't sell them with the shades at all. It's easier. So again, and then other people say you have to have shades because they're, they're lamps, uh, you know. So I always say you have to have the matching finials. I want to see the finials at the top. That's very important to have the matching finials. So a lot of people will be looking for finials when they're doing uh, auctions, when they're shopping online. They're looking for finials. Finials and other accessory hardware have become very highly sought off after. So look for finials. And if you have finials, remember, they're not just throwaways. The finials are important and they're valuable to your lamps. So these lamps, of course, have a silver base, and then they have a black middle, and then they have a silver um, font element. That round portion at the top is called a font. It used to hold, of course, the fuel for a traditional lamp, like an oil lamp, so they called that a font, and we still call it a font, the top portion of the base here. The Stiffel name goes a long way. It's very well known, very high quality. They're very good lamps. And as I said, they date to the 1970s. They're really nice. They have no shades, but they have a very low price. At the thrift store, how much did she pay? $50 for the pair. And that's very good for a pair of Stiffel lamps. What are they worth? $600 for the pair. That's right, $600. Why? The black is very important. The black coloration on these lamps, very important because they really are quite stylish. Lots of people look for that metallic with a black um, contrasting decorative, decorative element because they really are typical of the late portion of the mid-century modern. They're very modernist. Sometimes Some people would even call them Hollywood Regency style. They're very beautiful and worth $600. That's a real bargain. This next real bargain is one of my favorites. It's China, yay, China dinnerware service. So I always tell you, look around the thrift store, look around the flea market, look around the yard sale and see how many pieces you can amass. Because if there's one piece or two dishes or a couple saucers, there's probably more. So look around. Or ask around. Don't be shy. Go ask. Anyway, this is a real bargain. It comes from an online appraisal report. So this online appraisal report comes in, and um, the, uh, the person who submitted it, and you can submit them. It's easy. It's right on the home page. It's send a photo, get a report. It's a round circle with a camera icon on my home page if you want to send me a picture. So she gets the report from me, and she says, I bought these at a thrift store, Dr. Lori. I said, they're beautiful. They're Atiko. Atiko International made these lovely china dishes, and it's a beach scene. So all of them are little images that relate to the beach, like starfish and some scallop shells and, and um, clams and little elements that are hand-painted in this nice pastel palette on, of course, hand-painted onto the ceramic. And they're mugs, and she has bowls, and she has service for eight. So that's eight dinner plates and eight salad plates and eight cups, eight saucers, um, eight bread dishes. She had a pitcher. She had some serving dishes, a lot of stuff, right? So she has the service for eight, and she says, I really want to resell it. And I said, well, that's great. So I said, how much did you pay for it? She said, I paid a dollar for all of it, a dollar for all of it. And this happens a lot with China because people just go, I'm getting rid of all of it. So a dollar for all of it. And if you've seen any of those resale sites, you know, they, they really charge a lot for one individual dish if you want to replace it, for example. 
So you want to think about this if you're getting rid of your China, and you want to think about this if you have an opportunity to buy services of China, dinnerware services. So service for eight, accessory pieces, beautiful condition, which is always important. You can't have things with all cracks and chips in it, you know. So beautiful condition and a nice theme, a nice casual theme, you know, it would go anywhere. Uh, so hand-painted beach scenes, and she paid a buck for it at the thrift store. So I told her, I said, well, the whole set, all of these listing of all of these pieces, it's worth $250. She said, wow, Dr. Lori, that's great. So I gave her the online appraisal report, right? Uh, she had submitted it to photos. I did the research. I showed her where an actual sales record where similar pieces have sold. And she gets back to me a little bit, a little while later, a couple weeks later, and she says, Dr. Lori, I just wanted to tell you that with the help of your online appraisal report and my listing, I sold the dinnerware service for eight and the accessories, and I sold it happily for $235. I said, well, it was worth $250, but $235 is great, and it was sold, too. So don't think you can't sell the stuff. Don't think you can't find the stuff. It's out there. If you watch the videos, I'll show you where. I'm Dr. Lori. I hope you find your real bargain real soon.